Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Military Force. Today I'm here with Martacha and he is the main designer behind uh, this, which is the Westwind Technologies C-130 Aircraft and Helicopter MRO Hangar. So a lot of people have been asking for an aircraft uh, shelter, so here it is, a really large one. <laughs> See, it's for uh, maintenance and I also help with the construction of this. So you can use this for civilian purposes as well. This is actually based on one in Huntsville International Airport in Alabama. So here's what it looks like inside. It's a very spacious um, layout. And it can also fit two C-130s, so it has that tail uh, hole at the very top. Or it can fit up to 12 to 15 Black Hawk helicopters. And here is an Easy Leafs AC-130 gunship, which is very similar to the C-130. Uh, I decided to use it because our C-130 tutorial, that is so old. Um, but we realized, or at least I realized when I was pacing this in, a Leaf actually made the AC-130 one block too tall. So uh, to fit it in, you have to just cut off a little bit at the top. And, uh, you know, this is what it looks like modified. And right over here, this is Hisok's Black Hawk helicopters. And we could fit in six with the rotors out. If you fold up the rotors, you could probably fit in some more, but it's uh, really cool. I see all of this. And if you want to see it without shaders, this is how it would look like normally in-game, just in case you want to see what it looks like. It's uh, plenty lit. We got lighting on the bottom, through the floors, and on the top. And uh, here's what the AC-130 looks like in the hangar bay. Uh, again, you can use our C-130, but it will be a very old tutorial. We really need a new version of it. And we got a nice American flag. And this hangar is actually littered with a lot of details on the sides, you know, like garage doors. Um, you got various mechanisms, you know, AC, um, etc. And here's what the door looks like when it's uh, closed up. We got this uh, nice lattice at the bottom, uh, like a little doorway here. And it's just on this door. This door right here, when it's closed, it's not supposed to have that little door. These doors actually slide on these railings on the very bottom. And then uh, Martacha added some weathering here on the side just to add in some more detail. For this tutorial, we'll probably just make it plain and new. And here's what it looks like on the side. So this is not just the hangar itself. It's like the stuff around it, like the back part of it. Because uh, in real life, oftentimes things get complicated. So here's what back looks like. We got a loading dock right here. You can put a semi-trailer truck or a box truck there. We got some parking spaces for the workers to go in the facility. And there's like a whole back section here. We got wheelchair accessible ramp, even some handicapped parking, you know, lamps. And then here's what the other side looks like. We got a side loading dock area there. And here's what it looks like over there. This is actually gonna be a really intense tutorial because it's such a large build. It almost reminds me of like a ship tutorial. You know, this tutorial is not for the faint of hearted, so just be aware this will be a very tough tutorial. And I'll probably be starting by building, you know, the main hangar. And uh, if you want to make the sides of the back, we'll do that as well later on. And if you're wondering about the dimensions for this, this is uh, 95 blocks wide. So going from all that way from that stone all the way to over here. And then it is 153 blocks long from all the way to the front to that back parking lot line right here. All right, so first we're going to be building the center. So it's going to look like this. So that's going to be a stone block. And then we're going to make this so it's 26 blocks long. So 26 like this. And then we'll add in four polished diorites there. So one, two, three, four. Then two white concretes. Uh, a sea lantern. An oak stairs. White concrete, skip a block, white concrete, skip a block, white concrete. And then over here, sea lantern and a polished blackstone uh, brick stairs. Then we'll add in a sea lantern here, and then eight white concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a sea lantern, and then eight more white concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a sea lantern, a white concrete, a polished blackstone brick stairs, a white concrete, sea lantern, and then eight more white concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sea lantern again, and then eight more white concretes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then sea lantern, white concrete, skip a block, white concrete. And then a polished black stone brick stairs here. Sea lantern here. And then two white concretes. And then an oak stairs. And then a sea lantern. And then three white concretes. So uh, once we do that, it should look like that. 
All right, so next we're gonna take this stone here all the way up until this white concrete after this first oak uh, stairs. And we're gonna make it so it's 74 blocks long. So 74 all the way across here. And then we'll go to this corner and we'll delete this white concrete and corner this uh, oak uh, stairs like that. All right, so after that, we're gonna add in some sea lanterns, wrap it around the border here. And then two blocks wide of white concrete and we'll extend it to match up with the rest just like so all right then we'll go in the back part here right where we have uh, this oak stairs and right next to it take this uh, white concrete all the way to the edge white concrete and we're gonna do the same thing making it 74 blocks long this way and then we're gonna corner this edge here oak stairs and then we'll add in two blocks wide of white concrete on the very side of this. And uh, actually we're gonna add in um, sea lanterns so it wraps around the border here like that. And then we'll add in some two like that. So let me sh make sure I did it right on the other side. All right, so we got the sea lantern. So if you did this correctly, uh, these two things should align. So let's just extend them out from the white concrete all the way to the other white concrete. So let's see, yep, it should be going all the way across like that. We got a nice border, and we're just building one half of the hangar at a time. So this is just the left-hand side. And we're gonna extend this middle section until it meets up with the other side. So leave that gap right there alone. So let's see how long this is, like that. And after that, we're gonna actually uh, connect some of them. So you see, let's go in the front first. Uh, so we're gonna connect these parts together here. And then skip this line, connect these together. Skip that line and then connect these together. Just like that. And then we're gonna punch in a two by two hole here. And then we'll add in two blocks wide dark oak planks and then dark oak stairs like that. And next we're gonna skip three of these stairs here, go down on the side, punch in a hole here, add in our polished blackstone block and a light weighted pressure plate. It's gonna be pretty much a golden pressure plate like that. And then go over to the next one over here, punch in a two by two hole, add in two blocks wide, dark oak planks and dark oak stairs behind it. And then skip three of these stairs, punch in a hole here, polished blackstone with a light weighted pressure plate. So it's kind of like the same design as the front. And then last one over here, uh, punch in that hole two by two and then two blocks wide, dark oak planks, dark oak stairs behind it. And then we'll skip these three stairs, and this time we're gonna go over here, punch in a hole, add in our polished blackstone with a lightweighted pressure plate on top of it, like that. And then we're gonna add in white carpet above all of these sea lanterns. All right, so once we added that, it should be looking like this. All right, so next let's go over to this corner here with this uh, white carpet, go dangly, skip that block here, and we'll add in a stone block. And then we're gonna make this so it's 18 blocks tall. 18 like that. And then we'll um, skip uh, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Punch and no, I mean <laughs> two blocks tall, yellow concrete. And then uh, stone. And this is gonna be 16 blocks tall, so it's pretty much the same as the other one. It's kind of like we're making the twin towers right now. So they should be 18 blocks in total. And then we're gonna skip um, 10 blocks. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. After 10, we'll add in the same thing, uh, the same exact pillar design right over here. Just like that, so they all line up. And then we're gonna do the same thing, uh, but it's gonna be three more times, just 10 block gap in between everything. Let's do that three more times. And then in the back this time, uh, we're to count off um, eight blocks instead. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then our two blocks tall yellow and then extend the rest of the stone. So it goes all the way up to the very top. Um, just like this. All right, so next let's go in the front here. And this is the midpoint, we'll skip that block, add in smooth quartz stairs. And we want to extend it so it reaches the end of that um, polished diorite stairs. So it should look like that. Then we'll go back over here to the middle and we'll add in a smooth sandstone block. 
and we're going to make it so it's going to be 13 blocks tall. So 13 blocks tall like that. And then an upside down smooth sandstone stairs to the side of it. And then sandstone wall all the way down to the bottom. All right, then on top, we're going to add in 10 blocks tall of smooth sandstone. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then go uh, add in a brick slab so it's hovering above like that. And then behind it, we'll add in a smooth sandstone block like that. All right, then we'll go to the back part here. Go to the back part here, add in a smooth sandstone block. And we're going to make it so it is 23 blocks tall, so 23. And then we'll add in that upper brick slab here. And then smooth sandstone block there. And we're going to extend it out so it meets up with the front. So let's see if that matches. If that matches, then we did a good job. So yeah, it matches, so it goes like that. All right, then we'll go to the back. We'll add in this deep slate brick wall right down there. And this is actually going to extend all the way to the bottom across like that. Then let's go uh, back in the front here. And then we're going to skip three blocks here. So one, two, three, add in smooth sandstone block. And then we'll skip six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then add in smooth stone block. And then we're gonna skip ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add in our smooth stone block like that. And we're gonna make this smooth stone block like two blocks tall like that. And then we'll add in stone right underneath. Um, all of these so make sure they actually go all the way down to the floor level let's do that right now all right so they go all the way down to the floor and uh, we actually want more of these so that there's going to be a gap of 10 blocks between each of these pillars over over there so we want um uh let's see three more of these you know 10 block gap space so we're left with this and if you did this correctly, in the back, there should be a gap of, let's say, eight blocks between the wall and the, this pillar. So it should look like that. All right, so then let's go back over here to this side. And we're going to add in um, smooth sandstone blocks, so two blocks long here. And we'll make this uh, six blocks wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And the side here will make it 16 blocks long. So 16, like that. And then we'll make this five blocks wide. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then we're gonna make this segment here. So it's going to be 12 blocks tall, um, just like that. Then we'll add in smooth sandstone blocks, three blocks wide here, and then brick slabs. So wrap it around the corner here, like that. And we're gonna make this brick slab so it's gonna be six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go dangling up. Add in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the other side would do the same thing with the brick slabs. Cross like that, and then we'll add in smooth quartz slab so that it's in between this layer here. While the other layer will add in white carpet on top. So uh, three blocks wide here and extend this uh, smooth sandstone block as well to the other side and make sure you don't do that. So it should be looking like this. And then we'll add in smooth sandstone block underneath this brick slab. You could do the other side as well. Like so, and then we'll punch in a hole here and add in a smooth, I mean a smooth quartz a slab like that. Then we'll add in sandstone walls. It's going to be five blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. All right. So then we'll take out a brick slab, add it on top of this wall, add another one in the front. So it's stick out like that. And we're going to make this part. So it's going to be uh, four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to add in five, seven block long segments. So five times. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then seven four more times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 And then last is going to be four. So one, two, three, and four. So if you did that correctly, it should all, you know, line up and we have like this nice slope going across. All right, so next we'll take out a smooth sandstone block and we're going to go to this corner here and extend that all the way up to the very top. And then we'll also add in another one to the side of this. And uh, this part will go all the way down. And we're actually going to fill all this layer in with smooth sandstone. And this part as well. After that, we're going to add in smooth sandstone block right behind the upper brick slabs. As those need a 3D effect behind it. We want to make this look right. Just go every other layer and meet up with the front. Just like that. All right, then we'll go right to this brick slab. Go right over here. And then we'll add in a smooth sandstone block. And then a smooth sandstone slab underneath it like that. And then we're going to make this segment so it's going to be 34 blocks long. So 34 like that. And then we're going to add in so... Um, this smooth sandstone block is going to be six blocks tall, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then add in smooth sandstone slab, four blocks long. And then six blocks tall of smooth sandstone blocks. And then smooth sandstone slab uh, right underneath. And this slab is going to be 34 blocks long, so it should extend to right above that uh, stairs like that. Very cool so far. All right, then we'll go on the inside of this. And we'll add in um, smooth quartz slab in the gap here. White carpet on top of the other layer. And just keep on doing that, alternating between slabs and white carpet just to cover up the entire roof. Alright, so uh, once we have done it, it should be looking like this. Got a nice white line on the inside of it. Alright, then we're going to copy uh, this brick slab and the white part of the roof slope. And we'll build it in the back, right where we placed that brick slab earlier. Alright, so once we added the other section, it should be looking like this in the back. Alright, so next, let's go in the back here and we'll add in a smooth sandstone uh, block right here wrap it around this pillar actually and then we're going to add in and we're going to add in so this smooth sandstone wall is going to pretty much go all the way up behind uh, those pillars or right in front of those pillars rather so uh, let's do that so it should be looking like this and then this side wall here uh, we'll add in smooth sandstone um, and that's going to be going all the way across on this wall as well. Let's fill in this part. All right, so once it's filled in, it should be looking like that. All right, then we'll go on the side here and we'll fill um, this part here with smooth sandstone as well. Just like that. And then this wall over here, just fill this in, smooth sandstone block. And uh, make sure they're all connected. All right. Then we'll go on the inside part here, we'll add in, and then we'll go down here, we'll make sure the smooth sandstone block kind of goes up to, well, not that far up, but it kind of goes up to just before the roof level, so it kind of matches up these uh, pillars. And speaking of matching pillars, we're going to add in sandstone wall. It's going to line up with each of these stone pillars that we added on the inside. So add in sandstone wall on the outside like that. Alright, 
and then after that we're going to extend them so they go all the way down to the floor all right so once we extended it it should be looking like this and then we'll extend this uh, brick slab so it goes all the way across to the other side however long that may be so it looks like that and then we'll go over here skip four blocks down so one two three four punch in a two block wide hole and then we'll make it five blocks wide like this and then we'll add in black uh, glass block on the inside of this two by five like that and then we'll go over um, in the back just I think yeah go into this section skip four blocks one two three four and then punch in two block tall hole make sure I'm doing this right and we're gonna make this go all the way in between this section here fill this in with black glass and then we're gonna add in another window that's gonna be um, right over here so it's like in the same level as the other windows placed earlier and just fill this in with black glass so that should look like that all right then we'll go in the front and we're going to fill all this section here uh, at the top of this with smooth sandstone all right so it should look like that and now we're going to work on the beams <clears throat> so the beam it's going to pretty much line up with this pillar here so it's like a pillar across the room so uh, for the first pillar let's go here add in our smooth stone block and we're going to add it so it's 12 blocks tall and two blocks tall so so it's 12 blocks long and 12 so it's 12 blocks long, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we're going to make it 2 blocks tall. Then we'll go, go dangling up, 2 blocks tall, 13 blocks long, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Next is going to be 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then next is going to be 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then we're going to add in a single block over here. And then next door is going to be two blocks tall. And 15 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then it's going to be 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the last one should be 10 right here there in the middle. You did it correctly. All right. So next, let's go down here and add in smooth stone slabs. So it's going to be uh, 5 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then next it's going to be 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then next is going to be 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then it's going to be 7 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then next is going to be 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're going to add in 1 here. And then 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like that. All right, then we'll take out smooth stone. Let's go in this corner here. Add in four. One, two, three, four. Next one, add in three. One, two, three. Next one, add in one here. And then we'll skip this part here, and then we'll add in one. Just like that. Then we're gonna use the same beam design for four more of these. All right, so once we added the rest of the beams, it looks like this, we got a nice structure. I have scaffolding now let's go add in some oak fence so it's going to be two blocks tall right here in front of that sandstone wall another one in the edge here two blocks tall and another one on the side here two blocks tall all right it's a tiny detail <laughs> then we'll go on the inside of this and we're going to take out a gray glass pane and we'll go to in between these two pillars here and we're going to add in sides so get punch in a hole there like that and then it's going to go dangly inwards so we want to make sort of like an x shape in the middle it's going to be two by two glass panes and then when the x goes back up the other way like that 
and then we're gonna add an upper oak slab. I mean, an upper stone slab like this, like that. And then we want to make sure that we make the same exact thing, including that bar, just two more times above it, so that it should look like this. And you know, don't copy that white carpet. In fact, uh, underneath this uh, sea lantern, we could change that into white uh, concrete. All right, so it should look like this now. Alrighty, so then we'll add in the front oak slab across like that, then stone slab, make it go line across like that, and stone slab at the very top. It goes across like so. Alright, then for um, next area here, we extend this uh, oak slab all the way across like that, and our stone slab all the way across just like that, and then our stone slab at the top all the way across to the other side. All right, so then there's gonna be another X here, but this X is gonna be wider, so take out black, I mean our gray glass panes to add in the corners, and then we'll go, go diagonally up two blocks wide this time from both sides. And then the middle is gonna be this two by four of glass panes and it looks like it's all floating and then we're going to go up and it's going to go down and up the other way so yeah i think it's pretty much um like this design and then we'll add in our stone slab going all the way across and we could change this bottom white concrete and also you know i don't know why that white carpet's there <laughs> yeah whatever Anyways, next up, we're going to um, make two more of these going up. So, including the bar just like we did before. So that it should be looking like this. And then we're going to make the same thing, like this whole thing, including that yellow beam. And we're going to build it on the other one. So the one right over here. You know, just build it again so that they should all line up. And we'll change this into, you know, white concrete. The sea lantern is exposed like that. And then for the back part, we'll add in our oak slab across the bottom row. And then stone slabs across for the rest. Go to the back. So that it should be looking like that. All right, so next let's go on the inside. I'm gonna take out a deep slate brick wall. Go over here. Count nine and skip nine actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Add in that wall. And then skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add one. And we're gonna do that um, so that there's a seven gap for three more in addition to this. So three more times. Just like that. And then this time it's going to be eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Add one there. And then it's going to be seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add another one like that. And if you did this correctly, there should be a gap of eight in your leftover. And then we're going to extend all of these so that they go all the way up to the roof. So it should look like this. Then we'll go in the back here, very top of this pole. So the second block here, we'll add in this deep slate brick slab. Then we're to skip two blocks, add another slab here. Skip a block, add another slab, so it's gonna be at the bottom. Then we'll skip two blocks, add another slab here. And then we'll skip a block and add another slab there. And then add another slab, so it's got a tiny little gap like that. All right, so then for the all the slabs except the bottom one, that's gonna go across to the other uh, end of this. So it looks like that. All this other slabs gonna be three slabs, daily down, and then three more slabs, and then daily down three more slabs like that. And then we'll extend it so they all line up. Except this part, we'll remove that top row. We actually don't need that. So uh, let's extend this across to the other side. Just like that. And we'll do the same thing, just line it up. All these lines. And then we'll go across um, yet again. 
just like that. And then we'll do the same thing again over here. Them all, but this time uh, we'll add in another row. So I just skip two blocks here and add in an upper slab like that. And we'll extend this all. Meet up with the other side, just like that. All right, then we're gonna line up with this line here. See this middle divider go down, 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 down here. And then over here in this point, uh, we're gonna punch in a hole, two blocks tall like that. And then we're gonna go in between this block here. And we're just gonna fill this in with black glass blocks. All the way across like that. And we're gonna do the same thing for these two rows over here. So everything from here all the way to over here. It's gonna be filled in with a black glass blocks as well. Then we're gonna continue this pattern all the way across for uh, this row, same exact lines, and then this row as well. All the way across like that. And then next row, we're gonna do the same thing, just line up all the way across, match up with the other side. So that it should be looking like this. And then for the next row, we're just gonna omit this top row and just do the bottom ones. That does not fit. And just extend it again, like that. And we'll do another one right here. Same thing. Goes across like that. And then finally our last one, just you know, keep on doing this. All of them in rows and lines. Alright. So it should be looking like this if you did it correctly. Alright, then we're gonna extend this so it goes like this way for that wall. And these bars are actually gonna be the same. So just add in our um slabs and we're going to make that go all the way across to that part here all right so once you're doing it it should be looking like this all right so next let's take out smooth sandstone add an inner wall as well so it's going to be uh we'll go to this slab here go around the corner here and go down a block and add in their smooth sandstone block. all right then we're going to go up and we're going to add in smooth sandstone block on top and we're going to make it so it's 10 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we're going to add in three sand smooth sandstone walls. And this pretty much going to be all smooth sandstone. So I'll just say slabs. So 1, 2, 3. Then go up. Add a block. 3 blocks long. 1, 2, 3. Then slabs. 3, 1, 2, 3. Then a smooth stone block. And then six slabs, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, um, and then eight blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to add in six slabs, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll add in one block like that. And then we'll add in a smooth stone block. And then four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And then four slabs. One, two, three, four. Then four blocks. One, two, three, four. Four slabs. One, two, three, four. And then four blocks. One, two, three, four. Then we'll add in a slab and then a smooth stone block. And then uh, two slabs, and then eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it should end in eight right there. So it should look like that. All right, so next we'll add in smooth stone block, top of this, and the bottom of this, and slab underneath it. Go over here, add in a smooth stone slab underneath this one, and then a smooth stone block on top of this, just like that. All right, so next we're gonna make some ha beams going this way. So you see all this smooth stone block. This one and this one and this one, they're gonna go all the way across. 
You can see this is the start of it. All right, so once we extended it all across, it should be looking like this. And then we're also gonna go over here. And this should actually be a block taller, this, this beam. Sorry about that. Just extend it one block taller like that. All right, so once we finished with that roof area, um, I mean the layout, uh, we're going to extend uh, the roof, like the white part, so it goes all the way up to the other side. So let's do that right now. So it goes all the way across the roof like this, and make sure you get this uh, white segment as well. And here's what it looks like underneath with the roof all covered up like this. Alrighty, so next up, let's go um, right to this uh, inner wall that we made earlier here, and we'll just fill in whatever is above it with smooth sandstone block just all the way across. This this here as well. Oh, wait, okay. this last part here. All right, so after we filled that in, it should be looking like that. All right, so next up we have all these, you know, white panels that's sticking up from the roof. We don't want that, so we want to cover it up. So we're going to go to each of them, and then we're just covering that up with, uh, you know, smooth sandstone slabs, and that's going to be across for all of them. All right, so once you filled it in, it should be looking like this. All right, so next up we're going to take a chain, and we'll go up to this panel here in the middle. We'll add in chain like that. Go over here, skip two blocks away from the edge, add one. Same thing for that. And we're going to do the same thing for pretty much one, two, three, three more times. Like that. And the last one here, just skip two, add one here, and then another one right there. So we got four block wide gap between each of them. And actually, I missed this part here. That should also be uh, smooth sandstone slabs. All right, so now we're going to extend this chain so it kind of like a cable that goes all the way across the roof. So. Uh, just go here, make it six blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll go up and add in four. One, two, three, four. And go up, add in seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then go up and we'll add in uh, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Over here, continue it, and we're going to add in 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we'll go up and add in 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, and then for this one, make sure you do this. It's actually going to go up over here above it. It's not going to go straight across. All right, so for um, this bar here, let's make it 15 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're going to go up and add in 6. So let's see. 1, two three four five six and then over here oh wait that's a little tilted and then over here it's going to be seven so make sure that lines up one two three four five six seven and then we'll go down the up and add in three and the third one it should land right there in the middle so that's going to be uh one of the chain and we're going to copy the same chain design for these two here. All right, so once we added the chains for these two, um, this left one column of out of these pair, uh, that's going to have some lanterns or lamps. So let's go uh, right over here. And we're going to replace this one here at the start with C lantern. Go over here, and then we'll skip two here. Add a C lantern for this one. And then uh, there's going to be another one uh, right over here. Just skip to again. Add another sea lantern here. And then right over here, we'll go to this one. Skip three. Add in a sea lantern like that. So we got this nice lamps. And we want to have the same pair design with one with lamps, one without, 
for each of these pairs. All right, so if you did it correctly, it should be looking like this. And this is how it looks like with night vision. So that's pretty much it for part one of the aircraft hangar tutorial. Uh, thanks again to Mark Tatcha for the original design. Uh, obviously, we can't really do all of this in one video. That takes uh, way too much time. Uh, while you're waiting for part two, you might as well, you know, build the other half of this. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet, and it's like lunchtime, so I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you guys in part two.